Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of my um, starting my small plant business series. So today we have you know a few things to do. I'm going to be uh, propagating this philodendron. Um, so that's pretty much the main goal today. We're also going to be checking on the succulents, checking on my website, seeing how everything's going. And yeah, uh, stay tuned because that's what we're going to be doing today. Hello everyone. Okay, so um, I got everything ready to, you know, do the propagation. So I got here some sphagnum moss. That's we're gonna be propagating in. Um, this is just this is the brand, and it's like a expanding one. So I got some water right here, and that's gonna expand. So I just got this container to expand it in. Um, I got these alcohol pads this is for um cutting the plants i'm going to use these scissors but i'm going to use the alcohol pads to sterilize the scissors to make them clean uh i might actually i have two pairs i think i'm going to go ahead and use these pairs or i have these tiny scissors i think these might be a good fit these look like they'd work well Plus, these have never been used before, so you want to sterilize them to make sure that, you know, there's a lower chance of getting an infection or something like that. Okay, so, yeah, and then the last thing that we'd need would be some containers to uh, put the cuttings in after we've cut them. Um, go propagating by cutting, obviously, but specifically by nudes. So, these are the same containers I used in the last video. So, I'm going to get a few of those. I'm not really sure how many I'm going to need, but that's kind of a fun down of supplies. So, the plant's a little dusty, but that's okay. So, this is the plant, just a philodendron. I'm a vine plant, and you'll see, if you look closely, see all these, like, brown... Uh, dot things those are where the roots will grow so those are considered nodes so basically we have to make sure that every cutting we have has that little part with the roots or it has a leaf because that means that there's a node because the leaves grow from the nodes and the roots grow from that part so we're just gonna uh cut um so yeah it feels a bit weird the first time we do it but once you do it, you know, multiple times, it's not that bad. Um, so I am just going to take this pad and just going to go with my scissors and just do it. It's in the same way that, like, I don't know, a nose would do it. Or, like, someone like that. But just to make sure that there's... You know, no bacteria, or as little bacteria as possible. So we're just going to take this, and we're just going to cut it like that. These are pretty sharp scissors, so that's pretty good. You can see this. This one actually has um, two nodes on it. It has one right here and one right there. So if we wanted to, we could cut it again right here, and a new leaf would emerge right there. So that's what I'm going to do. Um... I'm not really sure how many of these are going to be viable, um, but I guess we just gotta see. So yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna cut, making sure that there's a node on each plant. So yeah, you pretty much just cut the plant. It's pretty simple. And every single one of these cuts will propagate to make a new plant. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Um, this, it would be considered the, mud, the mother plant for these cuttings, but this isn't the original mother plant. Um, there was another plant before this plant, um, but that plant was growing in soil. This plant is growing in water, um, if you can see it. There's some underwater, but I think it's because the water level went down. I'm not sure if the ones inside are gonna die. I don't really know. But ignore that. We're looking at the ones on the top. Um, the, 
If the plant's going in water, the water roots of the main plant won't really affect um, the new plant in any way. So these ones don't have any roots yet. So I'm uh, propagating them in the sphagnum moss because I've heard that, that translate gets, translates good to soil. If you don't know, I propagate my succulent in perlite. Um, but I, that just fell. I propagate my succulent in perlite, but I'm gonna do these in sphagnum moss, mainly because I already have sphagnum moss because I bought it a while ago. I bought this, I didn't buy this for this specific thing. I just got it to have it because I wanted to try it out one day. And I've never used it, so. Figured that today would be the right day. Because, you know, I'm trying to get inventory and stuff, so might as well. You know, it's a good time to test it out. So, yeah. Um, every single one of these cuttings that we have now should form into a new plant. And you can see most of the cuttings that we have already have a leaf. They don't have to have a leaf, but most of them just generally do. So we'll just take this, uh, put some sphagnum moss in here, and plant it just like that, and it should start growing. So I'm not sure how many cuttings we have. I guess we'll figure out in a second. Um, this is what the plant's looking like right now. I don't want to cut all of the leaves off. I think that's a pretty good pruning job. So we're just going to bring this over there so I don't knock it over and drop it. Okay. And now it's time to rehydrate the sphagnum moss. So the part that everyone's been waiting for. Um, so this is what it looks like. First impressions. It's pretty hard. It looks pretty interesting. It smells like glue. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So I just got some regular water. This is just tap water. Some people will probably say to use like filtered water or something, but I'm just going to use this water. It'll work. Okay. It's changing color, which is interesting. Not really sure how much water to put. Just going to cover it. I'm not sure if this is going to happen like instantly because I've rehydrated cocoa coal before. Oh, you can see it. Do you see that? See, it's kind of expanding. That's so cool. See that? Okay, I'm pretty sure we need more water. Guessing we're just gonna cover it. It might need to sit for a second. It's glowing. That's cool. See this? That's kind of what it looks like. That's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna kind of let this soak up, which it's expanding pretty instantly, not gonna lie to you. It's pretty much already in the middle throughout the whole thing. So that's pretty nice. Pretty good. There's some wood chips in there. But it's pretty airy, pretty fluffy, pretty good, generally. Kind of pulling it apart here, just a little bit. You can see it's very quickly filling up this whole container. So it's damp, it's not sogging wet, I think that's the word. But um, yeah, for my first time, rehydrating moss. I think that it turned out pretty good. So, that's pretty nice. Um, if you just look right here, it turned out pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if you have any background noise, just ignore that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do so I'm kind of just gonna, I haven't really done this before. Um, 
I'm thinking of I'm just gonna put some at the bottom, then put the plant in, and then put some more. Um, these containers don't have drainage holes, by the way. Um, it's best to get some more drainage holes. I'm gonna get like some plastic cups that have drainage holes, but for now, these don't. But it's not that big of a deal. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because it's moss, so it doesn't really fill in that good. It's very mossy. It's an interesting, interesting thing. So when I leave the leaf out, I'm gonna plant the node like that. That's kind of how it looks. And I'm just gonna do that over and over again. So um, I'll probably speed this part of the video up because I'm pretty sure people don't want to see me doing this for like forever. So. Who knows, maybe it will. Okay. The most important part of this is I have to make sure I'm actually planting the node. You see this? Just the node there. I have to make sure that that's under soil. It doesn't really matter whatever what everything where everything else is. But the most important part about this is that this is you know planted so just gonna get containers fill them with moss this might be fast forwarded it might not be i don't know so i'm gonna have to edit this anyway but if i fast forward it it's not gonna be that much faster anyway it's probably because my maximum thing is double speed So yeah, that's just how it's going. I have a lot of moss here. I don't really, I think it tells you how much it makes on the package. Did I read it? Nope. So this is a surprise to me. I did get a nice size container there. I was not expecting it to fill up that whole container um, because I am not using that much of it. We're using a very minuscule, minuscule amount, I think. Okay, so I'm pretty much just putting the plant in and making sure that the node is um, covered all the way. So this is damp. It's not like too wet or anything. It doesn't have to be, especially since these are drainage. It's kind of, since these don't have drainage, it's kind of what we're going for, just damp. We don't want anything too wet. Okay, so this is my first time propagating, but going pretty well. I like this moth, I think. I like the way that it, that it looks. It looks, looks fancy, you know? It just looks, looks cool. Looks like it's expensive, which it is. Let's add, if I didn't say before, which I don't think I did, the whole pack of moss was $18, I think. So yeah, just so you know, this stuff is not cheap. This stuff is not cheap at all. So some people do propagations in soil, um, perlite, water. I've done propagations in water, which is what this plant um, originated from the cuttings that I took. That's what those cuttings came from. So I propagated in water before, which is probably, you know, the easiest method because, you know, most people have water in their house. Um, so that's the easiest method. I've done perlite, which is what I use for the succulents. If you haven't seen that, watch the first episode if you want more information on that. And then this is my first time doing sphagnum moss propagation. Because some people do soil propagation, but I personally have not done that before. I ran out of containers. Okay. I didn't really count to see if I have enough, so I might like actually be out, which isn't ideal. Let's see. I didn't really think about this beforehand. I just have a bunch of lids in there, so. I have three containers left and I have more than three plants. 
So, we're going to have to do something about that. Um, not sure what. Might have to just put more than one plant in one container, which isn't ideal, but, you know, things happen. Okay, so, just putting the moss in. Um, so, yeah, I might just have to do two cuttings for some. Kind of spread them out a little bit. If I do two cuttings, yeah, if I do two cuttings, I'll have enough containers because I have six. So that's just what we're going to do. So I'm not really sure how long these take to grow. Um, I've watched some videos. I think the most popular one for propagation is Harley G. I think that's like one of the people that pretty much almost everyone in plant propagation or plant care know. So, it's an honorable, honorable mention, I guess. Um, that's actually, she's how I, you know, found the specific, um, moss brand, because as far as I know, at least in the video that I saw, this was the one that she recommended, and I do not know, I do not know that much about this stuff, so I'll take recommendations where I can get them. But yeah, I'm pretty much just making these videos kind of like as, um, you know, just showing things that I do to prepare for my business launch. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, that one looks a little funky, but looks pretty good so far. Okay. Um, we got one more. We can only do one more, at least with these containers. Um, I was gonna go to the dollar store. It should be one of my next videos. Um, to go to the dollar store and get some more stuff. I wanted to get some, you know, some clear plastic cups. You can drill holes in those to use as planting containers, because if you haven't heard or haven't seen really anywhere or everywhere. Um, clear plastic sandy containers are pretty much all the rage now. And I like them because one, you know, if you use plastic cups, they're pretty cheap. And two, um, you can see the roots of the plant really well. So yeah, we, have, we still have quite a bit of moss left. So I'll just have this anytime I wanna propagate some more, I guess. Um, okay, so here are all the plants. Um, over here is, well, the second and third. Nothing much has really happened, um, since yesterday. These are the plants that we planted yesterday. I planted the stems and stuff. It's less drying out, but more, um, I can probably water them tomorrow. I don't know if I'll record it or not. Here are the plants that are, you know, sprouting and stuff. None are, like... It's when the mother leaf dies, so see this leaf, how it's kind of shriveled. Once this dies all the way, I'll replant it. And when I replant it, I'll replant it into one of these containers. It's kind of chaotic in there. They like to move around a bunch. Because they're so tiny, they don't really have any support. It's kind of just sitting in there. So stuff, stuff like that, you can kind of just mist it because they're so tiny. Um, kill my, you know, larger crop boxes. Just have them fill with succulents. So, you know, an example of a cutting head cell. This is just a jade plant, jade cutting. This was not here before, I don't think. I think that's new growth. Um, there's some roots going here, I'm not really sure why. Like, for example, this would be a plant that I could sell. So, I just have plants growing. This is just kind of my inventory, all the stuff that I have. And these new philodendron cuttings, I'm not really sure what specific philodendron it is. I just know that it is one. The leaves are shaped like hearts. Um, because... I can look up what the scientific name is, but 
I figured that there's no point in really looking into it too much because even if I do figure out what it's called, I doubt I'm going to be able to pronounce it. So, yeah, I was going to put these next to the succulents. So, um, let me know what you think about my new uh, recording setup, how you like it, or if you don't like it. I enjoy it because I can literally just do the things that I normally do. I can walk around, um, use both of my hands, record. It's pretty cool. I'm going to put some more um, moss on that one. But yeah, I have some moss for for a little while. Just going to get a little bit because this one is popping out a little bit. And after this, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek on my website so far. It's going to be really quick because I barely have anything um, for my website. I'm using Shopify. Not sponsored, obviously, because I have, like, no subscribers. So, you don't have to, you don't have to be worried about me being sponsored because I, no, I don't even know if I can get sponsored. So I have, like, what, 100 subscribers or something? Um, so... I like the contrast between the perlite and the sphagnum moss. So yeah, I pretty much just have a table of cuttings. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a bunch of leaves, I put them in the window, so, so I have leaves everywhere. I have uh, succulent cuttings everywhere. Um, and I have these going. And then this table over here, right now it has some pink thing stuff on it, but I do want to clear this table off get some more, well not some more, I don't have any, but get some grow lights, make this a, a plant table. Um, this area will probably, stay, will probably stay a workstation because I need a workstation, I can't just not have one. Um, and then in here, this is like a drying station uh, for when I used to make pretty much anything like paintings and stuff. It's a fan on a container and I can turn it on and dry it. If whatever we need drying. Right now there's some jackets in here because I didn't want to put them in the uh, drying machine, so like the washer dryer, so put them in here. But I'm gonna disassemble this and I still have the lid, which I gotta clean because there's paint on it. But I want to make this into a large propagation box and also get a grow light for that. But you know, we have to do baby steps here can't be doing all that at one time so my main goal right now is just to you know open my business as soon as possible be making a video as soon as it happens but trying to do it you know eventually so but yeah I think the um plant table is looking pretty pretty good I will say in the future I do want to get I think some I forgot what they're called. Oh, um, some Monstera seeds. Um, like the really big ones. I forgot what it's called again. Like Gigantium or something. Um, cause the seeds are fairly cheap and they take forever to grow, but I thought it might be a good investment to like, if I do make that into a propagation box, to just have some growing and it'll take them forever to grow, but you know, I got time. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the next part of this video, and this is a pretty long video, is going to be me showing um, a bit of my website. And then we'll just kind of do the closing from there. Okay, so um, I'm on my Shopify account right now. Um, they just have Spotlight. It's a really simple um, thing because I'm on the $5 plan right now. I'm starting off pretty small, so this is really simple um that's my logo this will be kind of where the plants are listed so i take pictures and then this is where the description is um i have to update this because this is the description from when i used to make plant pots so now i have to uh switch that but yeah i do like these shirt icons though i'm not showing shirts obviously but i think they the look cute but yeah, this is um, the $5 plan, just spotlight. So this is pretty much all I can do. 
that's all I need, really. I just didn't want to do anything too outrageous. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we got a lot of stuff done with the plants and the plant table today. So, I hope that you like the video and, you know, you come back for more videos. I'm going to try my best to make as many videos as I can, you know, trying to do daily vlogs, just showing you guys day in the life of me trying to start my plant business and, you know, kind of taking you along with what that looks like for me. So, I hope you have an amazing day and thank you for watching. Bye!